Hi, I'm John Jeremy and this is a series of presentations about the use of technology in indexing. This is the first presentation where I'll be looking at Adobe Acrobat and what I'll be doing here is shrinking the size of Adobe PDF files. Acrobat of course is available from Adobe and many other software suppliers. You can purchase it on a disk or buy it online. And it's possible to download a trial copy from the Adobe website in your country. There's a standard version and a pro version which has some extra features. I recommend the pro version, although nothing that I'll be doing here today requires you to have that. Like most indexes, I generally receive manuscripts to index in PDF format. These can be very large files, the biggest I've had to date is around 500 megabytes. I find that even on a fast computer, moving through these files is a very slow process. It takes a, a long time to even redraw a single page. So if I get a file of this size, the first thing I do is to shrink it down. There are several ways to do this in Acrobat. I'll look at the simplest way first. Let's open the file up. Reducing the size of this file requires a single command in the File menu. We say File, Save as Other, Reduced Size PDF. And the only option that's available with this command is the Compatibility option where you choose which versions of Acrobat you want your file to be com compatible with. If you are working with somebody who has an old, older version, you may want to uh, select one of these. Otherwise, you might as well select the latest one there, and that will give you the, the greatest possible minimization. Click on OK. Supply a name for the new reduced size file. And there it goes. It's going to take a little while to do that, so I'll just pause the recording while that's happening. OK, it's nearly finished processing images. There's a few more steps to go after that, but they're fairly quick. And when it's saved the document, the saved file will come up in Acrobat over the top of this one. If you look very carefully, you might be able to see some small loss of quality in the uh, images. Okay, there to be a uh, conversion warning. And here's our new file, virtually identical to the previous one. We can do what we did with the other, we can select text, move around, and so on. But if I close that now, you'll see that the file size of the reduced version is roughly 36 megabytes, about uh, one sixth of the size of the original file. So there's a very substantial reduction there. Now if that's not enough, we can go one step further. To get the best possible reduction using Acrobat, I can reopen this big file again. I go again to the File menu, but instead of Save as Other, I come down to File Print. I go to the Adobe PDF printer, which is installed when you install Acrobat. Uh, what it does is to treat a PDF file like a, a printout on paper. So whatever commands you can apply to printing normally, you can also use to produce a, a PDF file with those same settings. Um, in particular, we go to uh, printing grayscale here, so we lose the color. That'll save us some space. If I go to properties, and of the three settings tabs, I choose the third one, Adobe PDF settings. And under default settings here, I choose the smallest file size. Click on OK and print, and because we're printing to a file, it's going to ask us for the file name. And there we go, and I'll call this uh, reduced via print to PDF. And again, this is going to take a little while, so I'll pause the recording and come back when it's nearly done. Okay, the print PDF there is nearly finished. 
Uh, once it is finished, the new PDF file will open up in Acrobat. There it is. You can see that the uh, pages have been rotated. We'll look at how to fix that next time. And it's uh, lost the colour. So it's otherwise identical, and we can do exactly the same things with the file as we could with the original in terms of selecting text and so forth. So if I close the PDF file then and have a look at the, the size of the new one, it's 18 megabytes, um, about one twelfth of the original size, about half of the size that we got down to with the file saver's other option there. So it's a very substantial reduction in the size of the file. Uh, when we come back we'll be having a look at how to um, reshuffle the pages in the file, how to rotate the pages, and how to add page numbers. So I'll see you then.